Hi folks, this is Meredith from the Papery Craftery and today I am going to be sharing sort of a shorter video but it's going to be all about how to use a needle tool, in depth how to use a needle tool. I get asked this question a lot and I've never really got into the exact motion that I use when I'm using this specific tool. This is my absolute all-time favorite. It's very, very old. You can see there, it does say Lake City Craft on it, which is a paper I use a lot. You can find it on quilling.com, but they don't actually sell this wood-handled version anymore, at least that I can see, which is unfortunate because I really, really enjoy it. I actually have two here, and this one I used so much that the needle broke off, and I kind of just shoved it back in there because I didn't want to be out a tool. But it, all a needle tool is, is just a handle with a long skinny piece of metal that's sort of pointed on the end. Here is a plastic version. The big difference is the plastic version has kind of an indent there and the wood one does not. I also have a double sided tool here. One end is a slotted tool and then the other end is the needle tool. It's got a nice handle on it with little grippers. This is a nice tool if you don't have space for a lot of things. You just want to pick up one tool and kind of be able to do whatever you want with them. Using the needle tool is very different than using a slotted tool. In fact, it's sort of the opposite. What I do is I hold it in my dominant hand. I'm right-handed, so I hold it in my right hand comfortably. And that might look different for, for different people. I line up my paper on the back with my index finger, push that over just a little bit till I can grab it with my thumb, and then I spin. That's it. You are spinning the paper around the needle tool. You are not turning the handle of the tool at all. That is the key to using a needle tool. I like to spin and then sort of push up against the edge of, or not the edge, the, the base of my my tool just to keep everything even. That's just a little quirk I do that's not really necessary in using this tool. When you take it off of your tool, your coil off your tool, it has a nice open hole in the center. That is definitely one of the draws of the needle tool. You can see there, it just took a couple seconds. This strip was about six to eight inches long and then just twirled it right up, took it off the tool. Super easy. The whole key is that you're turning your paper, you're not turning your tool. Once you master using your needle tool for basic shapes, you can also do some more advanced techniques I've shown in different videos on this channel before. One of them is making spirals. You can do this on a regular needle tool, but I just thought I'd show another option here. This is actually a tool they sell for making spirals. But very similar situation. I'm holding the tool still in one hand. To do this, you, ha you have to hold the tail up at an angle, but I'm still spinning the paper around the tool in a similar way that I did just making that coil a minute ago on the needle tool. Holding the tool still and turning the paper. If you do it on a slant, you can get a spiral like this one. I have a whole video on how to make these spirals, so I'll link that in the description box for the video. Another option for using your needle tool is making swirls, and swirls are multiple strips together, either the same color or different colors, that when you glue one end slightly and twirl around a needle tool, you can manipulate the openings, and it just makes a very dramatic sort of shape and I use these a lot in my projects. Um, I have a lot of different tutorials using the swirls and I do have a video on how to make them step by step by step by step and different different variations on it but it's really helpful to do this on a needle tool. It's not really very easy to do it on a slotted tool. If your slotted tool has a particularly wide opening, you might be able to do a few strips at once. But once you get into the four, five, six, seven, however big you want to start making your, your swirls, you probably won't be able to fit them in your needle tool. So it's definitely handy to start practicing 
on a needle tool because you're turning this the same way you do one strip, lining it up against the back, starting it with your index finger until you can grab it with your thumb, and then you're just spinning. That's it. Very quickly on a needle tool, just whip that out in a few seconds. If you are not looking to purchase a new tool right this minute or you want to try your hand at a needle tool idea without grabbing the tool, you can possibly use a slotted tool to kind of get the same effect. All I did there is I just started turning it on the outside of the, the working end of my slotted tool. I didn't put it in a slot, I just kind of used that metal the same idea as using a needle tool. Just gave it a couple spins around the outside. Like I said, if you're waiting to pick up a needle tool, you're not sure, you can always give this a try just to kind of get the idea of the motion that you need to use the needle tool instead of the slotted tool. To recap, Using a needle tool is definitely a different motion than using the slotted tool in quilling. In the slotted tool, you are putting one end of your paper in and turning your tool to wrap the paper around itself. With the needle tool, it's literally the exact opposite. You're holding the tool still and your other hand is doing all the work and you're just turning the paper. They definitely both have their pros and cons. Uh, I had made a video a while back about what type of quilling tool you really need. And I went through all the pros and cons of the different tools and they definitely both have their, their usefulness and their purpose. It doesn't hurt to grab another skill though. So I wanted to make sure that I made this video. It, it take me, took me a while to do it because I had a hard time verbalizing exactly how to use the needle tool. But I sat down one day and I really focused on how I use my hand when I was doing it so I could explain it properly. I really hope this video finally answers some questions about how exactly to use a needle tool in quilling and and why you might want to to grab one. Um, I will definitely leave links for all the tools that I used today, at least close uh, equivalents to the tools that I use today so you can take a look at those. I will also leave links to the other videos I mentioned of the other techniques so you can learn more about those if you haven't seen them as well. Don't forget to like and subscribe so you can be around for my next video. But in the meantime, thanks so much for watching. Bye-bye!